Hey team, um, I have some exciting news. My parents and my nephew Will arrived last night. We haven't seen them in four months, have we? So it's pretty cool to be able to get a visit in. Um, we took them out for dinner in Mochueka at the Smoking Barrel last night. Highly recommend that place. It was yum and the service was great. It was awesome. Um, we didn't film it because if you've ever taken young kids out to a restaurant you will know it's pretty yeah. tricky especially with the twins um it's been a long time since we've had them in high chairs and they weren't particularly impressed about it so we don't often take them out for dinner usually it's their bedtime as well which doesn't help the situation we left the camera at home you don't want to see that <laughs> but it was my dad's birthday yesterday happy birthday dad he turned 70 awesome and we get to visit with them for the next week and a half. So, tomorrow, well, today actually, this afternoon, we're heading to Kaiteri Terry and I will introduce you guys then. But another fun <coughs> thing that happened, yeah, that's the lens cap, we don't need that on just yet. Um, another fun thing that happened is they brought down our winter box. Hooray! Oh, hi, hooray! All right, well, we've arrived at Kaiteri Terry. Um, pretty short drive of it from Mochuruka where we were 20 minutes. Bit of a windy road, but yeah, not too far. Um, this campground looks stunning. We're right across the road from the beach, uh, like literally us, road, beach. I'll show you that later on. Um, it's a little overcast at the moment, um, but the sun's scheduled to come out later in the week. Forecasted rather than scheduled, I guess. Um, now we are going to take a boat now up into the Abel Tasman National Park. Uh, we've got a walk plan this afternoon. Uh, we've got a three-day boat pass. We'll talk more about that later. We're running a little late, so uh, we'll catch up with you on the boat. Hey team, we are here at Medlands Beach in the Abel Tasman Park. We just took the sea shuttle out here. Um, it's about an hour on the boat. We've got maybe four hours before we get picked up again, so we are off to find a waterfall. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Abel Tasman National Park, um, the top right hand corner of the South Island of New Zealand, huge national park here. Um, you can walk basically from one end to the other if you like. Uh, it's roughly 40 kilometers from memory uh, all the way down through the park so a whole lot of different options for people to do some people will walk a section of it you know take a boat out walk a section get picked up some people will spend a few days walking there's dock huts all through here as well um, we've got just kind of a few days we've got a, a couple day pass but we don't really want to do huge three-hour walks with the girls on our backs right so we've come to Midlands Beach and there's a waterfall loop you can do here about an hour away suspension bridge and then the boat picks us up right here so pretty good for young kids well I thought I'd better introduce my family that's traveling with us for the next week and a half so this is my mum and dad Kathy and Phil and my nephew Will who's joining us as well yeah. super excited Hello. to have you guys traveling yeah. what's your thing that you're most looking forward to this trip well seeing more of this coastline is amazing it's, it's seriously it's seriously amazing the the beauty and around here is just yeah, fabulous like and to see family. Catch up with these lot. I'm in it. <laughs> this little weka.
All right, well, we finished our little walk out to the falls there and the sun's come out. Go figure. Um, the weather forecast said rain all afternoon, rain tonight. That's why I was carrying around an umbrella for the last two hours. Um, but the sun's out. The kids are swimming. Um, and yeah, we've come back early to the little beach. Uh, we have to be here at a specific time. So we were dropped off at 11.30, picking up at 3.30. Um, you have like 3.30 the boat leaves sort of thing. So they won't wait around for you. Um, you jump on and go. Um, but yeah, just got a bit of time to kill now at this beautiful little beach in paradise. So yeah, what's not to love? Morning guys, well this morning we are off to Tonga Quarry on the sea shuttle here behind me and we are heading to Awaroa so we're going to do a bit of a walk to get there. Apparently there's a nice lodge and a cafe once we get there so let's check it out. I should also mention that Bronson's staying behind today with the girls, he's got a bit of work to do this morning so he's going to hang out with the girls and Rosie while I go with my parents and my nephew Will and Harvey. Fun little day without the girls. <laughs> Well, we're here at Tonga Quarry and the rain has just started, so hopefully it's short-lived. We were under the impression that this walk was going to take us an hour and a half to get to Aoraa. Um, and we got here and the sign says three hours. So, hoping that's not the case, we'll probably miss the boat if it is. <laughs> but we'll see how we get on. Well, we made it. This is Awaroa. We made it with about two minutes of time to spare before the boat gets here, so barely made it. Harvey's little legs did awesome to keep up on that track. It meant we didn't get a chance to look out around the Awaroa Lodge and have a coffee at the cafe there, but that's all right. We had a pretty awesome day today. Alright, that walk was a lot of fun but we did have to hustle quite a bit for time. Um, we'd been told an hour 45 to finish the walk from Tonga Quarry to Awaroa. Um, but we'd be told that by the sea shuttle service. And when we arrived at Tonga Quarry it said three hours to Awaroa on the dock sign. And we figured out that it's three hours to Awaroa around the inlet at the end. But only an hour 45 if you're going to where the shuttle picks you up. So we got to the Awaroa Cafe and from there it was another 5 minutes to the beach and from there another 15 minutes along the beach before you get to the shuttle service pickup point. So we got there bang on time basically, we didn't get a chance to stop at the cafe or have a look around or anything so yeah, a bit of a shame, um, it took us about two and a half hours with little legs Harvey over there and um, he did walk the whole way and I was very impressed but we were hustling for the last half hour. All right well it's an absolute stunner of a day here today. It's amazing. Yeah it's our last day unfortunately. Um, we are thinking of wintering over here but we'll share those plans with you a bit later on. Um, what are we going to do today? We are going to play some mini golf and have a beach day. Beach day, yep, there's a mini golf right next door to the campground behind us here. So yeah, challenge on. <laughs>
All right, last hole, I'll give you 100 bucks if you get in and hole yeah. in one. How about 100 bucks if I beat you at the game? Nah, 100 bucks if you get in. Because you know I'm beating you. <laughs> How many was that, Chelsea? Four. Still beating you, though. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Can you not hit our daughter in the face with a golf ball again, please? All right, well, we won't talk about the mini golf results. Because uh, we lost. It was a close game. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right, I might check out the campground now and show you guys around. So this is Kaiteri Teri Campground, um, pretty beautiful little spot actually, right across the road from the beach. We are staying on the front row of the sites basically, so fence, road, beach, which is pretty amazing. You can hear it at night, which is cool. The rest of the campground is just kind of park-like setting, um, big trees, goes down for miles down the back, but pretty quiet this time of year. Um, it is a long weekend right now, it is um, Anzac weekend, the last long weekend here in New Zealand for quite a while, I think until October. but. Um, yeah, pretty nice campground. Go have a look around. There is a little coffee shop here in this campground, which is kind of cool. It must operate when the campground is in full swing in summer. Um, but decent coffee here at the cafe across the road, which is good. So yeah, that always ticks a box for me. So like I said earlier, this is one of the campgrounds that's on our short list for wintering over. Um, we'll talk about that more in another video, but uh, we need to find somewhere to winter over for a couple of months. And there's a campground here, and there's also another one just up the road called Bethany Park, which looks quite nice. Um, so they have a section of this campground, you can't stay right at the front in the winter, um, you can stay a couple rows back from the, the, the front, you know, beachfront sites there, but it works out to be about $115 I think, or $112 for two adults for a week. So roughly $16 a night. At those NZMCA parks we stay in, um, we pay $6 a night, now that's the cheapest you're probably going to find anywhere, right? $6 a night. But here, full facilities, showers, I could have a long shower each morning, um, there's a laundry here, kitchen if we needed it um, but also powered sites and a dump station just uh, behind me here so it's stacked with amenities and for $112 a week that's pretty good um, you don't have a fixed contract you can only stay from May onwards and you just kind of come and go so yep this one definitely on the short list it's looking pretty beautiful and ticks all the boxes so this is our campsite right here right on the front look at that beach right there and Chelsea's parents are staying just up there in that apartment to the right of that window there. So they get a cool view from their deck up there and they're only a stone's throw away from us. Um, all those apartments up there are part of the campground and they got some awesome views of the beach. Um, really nice apartments actually. And yeah, down below the apartments that shop I was talking about, post office, um, has like swap of gas bottles and a post box and kind of everything you need to, um, you know, for stay long stays at a campground basically and then cafe and stuff over the other side. There's also a takeaway burger shop there, um, which we had the other night for dinner, which is pretty tasty. Mini golf, playground, flying fox. Um, yeah, and stunning beach right there. <laughs> All right, so this is the main beach in Kaiteri Terry. How beautiful is this? The golden sands, that water, just amazing. And even though it's kind of later in the year, you know, mid-April now, it's still kind of warm to splash around and play in the water. Um, and the crowds are really low, so it's probably a primo time to come, right? Less people on the beach. High to summer, I imagine it's pretty pumping here. Um, oh man, what a spot. Could definitely see ourselves spending winter in this area for sure. Uh, you can see kayakers over there behind me. Chelsea and the kids went kayaking yesterday. You can do kayak trips all down through the Abel Tasman camp, walk to your heart's content down there. So what a stunning spot in New Zealand. This is one of the reasons why we took this year off, is to find blazers like this and just chill out. Mm -hmm. 